guys what's up welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel you already know what it is <laughs> period okay so um i wanted to show you guys this product that i'm doing oh what just went in my eye that is not okay that felt like a violation Oh my god, don't you fucking hate it when things go in your eyes like that? There's just no consent involved in that. Uh-uh. Okay, anyway, so I put my uh, fake eyelashes on. Yes, they're fake. <gasps> okay, everything about me, everything about me is fake, y'all. <laughs> so proud of it so proud of it too anyway i want you all the haters to know my hair fake my my lips fake my eyes fake my eyes is fake my eyebrows fake my nails fake bitch my money fake everything okay everything all right thank you y'all are right Okay, so I want to show y'all this product. Is the blush enough, you guys? I don't know. I feel like you saw, this seriously feels like something's in my eyes. Not okay. Okay, so yes, the product. So if y'all didn't know, this is gonna bug me for real. I just want to get fake eyelashes put on, like for I keep talking about it. Like <laughs> I'm just scared. Cause y'all, I don't know. It's just an addiction. I just don't want to start. Like these, like these, really be saving me a hundred dollars every month. <laughs> okay. We're budgeting over here. Just kidding. But uh, I'm just scared, and I don't want to sit there for like an hour. Like I don't know. Do y'all think eyelashes are worth it? Like the ones that you sit for an hour they just put on each individual one i know it's gonna be worth it I, the thing is i know i'm gonna fall in love with it that's the thing y'all you know what i mean i think you can just tell when you're gonna be addicted to something which i can i'm just gonna once i start there's no stopping so we're just gonna do these for now and also like i do feel like it will damage my because i will do it till i die and yeah all my natural lashes are just gonna be gone probably so eventually i will i keep saying that but like don't come for me so the setting spray i was using before is the all nighter long lasting makeup setting spray but when i use this y'all i told y'all my skin gets really dry and tight because i i got dry that skin so i finally got the hyaluronic acid one if you don't know what hyaluronic acid is it basically pulls out water from like around you like you know in the air like you know humectants around you i'm acting like i know my shit because i do but i don't know it that well i just know like the basics okay if it has to do anything with beauty and looking good girl i'll i'll research it a little a little okay too many words we gotta stop we gotta stop there because we're not getting paid we're not getting paid to learn all this information but you know what for the looks it's worth it so i do do i dabble i dabble a little bit but yeah anyway so i'm not like professional or anything okay just doing what I can, doing my service. I'm trying to teach you what I know. That's it. So take it lightly, take it with a grain of salt. So the hyaluronic acid draws in water. I don't even know what a damn humectant is, but damn, that sounded good, didn't it? So yeah, it draws in humectants from the air and like it basically draws into your skin, you know, moisture. So, that's why I know what hyaluronic acid is. Hy hyaluronic acid, good. Salicylic acid is like an exfoliant, so like it can be drying, but you want to kind of get one that's like not too drying, because like you don't want to physically exfoliate your face, because your skin will freak the fuck out and also be like damaging for when you're older. So you want to exfoliate it with a chemical exfoliant. So that means like um the chemical does all the exfoliating. You don't have to like be rough on your face. So salicylic acid is like the best one. Like if you have acne and stuff, because that like draws out like the dirt and impurities from your skin because it's exfoliating. So 
that and then I try and like I always moisturize after you like you want to moisturize when you use those things so you know I do know like I do know some like I do know enough to look at an ingredient and products and know like if I want to put that on my skin or not I think that's the most important thing is being able to tell what you want to put on your skin because that's important I mean it's important to me like y'all if I don't got like you know what I mean like it's important to me to look like feel good look good like if you don't look good if you don't think that you personally look good that anybody could tell you about yourself you know what I mean I don't let anybody tell me anything about myself because bitch I think <laughs> I look amazing because I know you know what I mean like if you if everybody tells you you look amazing but you don't feel it like you're not gonna look amazing like you're gonna look amazing whenever you feel amazing so that's why that's that that's what that's it so so this is the ultra glow because you know so I'm gonna use this one today I'm so excited and it's the purple the purple bottle look how fresh and clean it looks compared to this black ass one that I've been been using like makeup all over you know what I mean but I do love like this is like the regular one like the iconic one you know this one's I want to get the yellow one I've said that it's a vitamin C one. I feel like uh, vitamin C, if you don't know, that's brightening. It's brightening for your skin. But vitamin C can be sensitizing as fuck. So your girl has sensitive skin too. So like, I mean, vitamin C is not good to put on all the time. And like, if you do do vitamin C, you need to, you know, wear sunscreen for sure. It's kind of like a retinol. Like y'all, there's cer certain products that make your skin very sensitive, especially to the sun and damage it like more. So you gotta know, that's why it's really important to know what you're putting on your face for real. So this one is the All Nighter Ultra Glow. So this one should be really good. So what I do, you guys, is I put the setting spray on first. Like I do my makeup, I put the setting spray on like so. Wait for it to dry a little bit. Then I put on, man, when you talk right after you taste it for real. Ugh, ugh. Uh, anyway, so now I put on the highlighter because this one is a glowy one though, but like just in general, when you put on setting spray, I feel like anything shiny should go on. Um, I thought I left that on for a sec, but I didn't. Uh, just warm. Um, it should go on after the fact. That's just what I believe. I mean, there is no right or wrong steps, whatever you think, how it looks good at the end. I mean, that's up to you. I'm just giving you ideas, you know? So, I'm going to do the Anastasia one. I put a little bit on my nose and then put a little bit here. And then I put like a little bit here on my cheeks. And then I put some under my eyebrows. Like that. Like, usually I'll do a different brush, but I just am not giving a fuck right now. Like, usually I'll do a smaller brush. Like, if I was actually like caring about it. It doesn't really matter. Like, y'all, who's gonna check you? Like, nobody, like, nobody gives a fuck. Y'all, like, just nobody, just know, like, nobody gives a fuck. Like, who the fuck? <laughs> Bitch, I could go out with them unibrow. Like, they're gonna talk about me for that night. It's gonna blow over in a week. Like, no matter what you do, just know, like, yeah, maybe people will talk for that night. Maybe you'll be the talk. I, I personally love being the talk. Like, I just love it. It's like, you're talking about me. I don't care what the fuck you're talking about. As long as it's my name you know that's it so but i mean i know not everybody's like that but just know if you're going through something and some people are talking about you or you're the talk of the town or whatever the hell like it's gonna blow over in a week like no matter what you do like no matter what you do you guys people will forget because it's just not that relevant you know it's not that important like just know like whatever you do it's not like that crazy okay you gotta put into comparison y'all there's serial killer like i hate to bring like this sensitive topic but i'm not gonna name any you know like because the victims that's so sad but at the end of the day like ser even serial killers have fan pages like even people like they get <laughs> they have fans you know what i mean somebody's gonna like you out there <laughs> like you know what i mean doesn't matter and like that's fucked up if you are a serial killer that is fucked up like stay away from me first of all but you know what I mean? Like, whatever you do is not going to be that bad. Some people are going to love you. <laughs> That's just how I think about it. It's like, man, there's just nothing you can do that people won't, like, eventually forget about it. You're just, 
the conversation. For me, I like meme conversation, so I'm always like, what can I do to just get under people's skin, you know? And I kind of found like a good method for that because I found the treasure of the most bothered people on earth, y'all. Man, I just logged into Facebook. <laughs> y'all, just say what you're thinking on that app and people will come for you left and right, whatever. I love that app because one, I really don't give a fuck about it, <laughs> first of all. So like when I used to like say whatever, I'd get, get banned like for months at a time. Like I didn't give a, like do you think that in any way, shape or form affected my life? Oh no, like be fucking for real. <laughs> like it's funny because the people on Facebook, like I think that's their ride or die app or something like that. Like, I don't know. Like, they take it so serious, y'all. You can't make no jokes on Facebook for real. Like, they'll come for your neck. I mean, they'll try. It's like, it's just funny. Like, when you don't care and everybody else is so bothered, like, it's just funny because you're the one laughing, right? Everybody else is for real. Like, you can feel the anger. It's like, it's not that serious. Like, but that's their whole life for real. That's what I honestly believe, because why on earth would you give a fuck about what some random person on the internet has got to say? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, so weird. People are so weird like that, but I love it because it works to your power. Like, it works to your strength when you realize that. Like, if you don't realize that, life is going to be so tough for you. I'm sorry. It's really going to be tough out there. But it's not my problem. It's not me. So why do, why would I care? Oh, okay, anyway, that was enough for this video. I just wanted to show you my um, setting spray. And yeah, y'all, you want to start drama, start on Facebook because it's too easy. They're all stupid. I mean, not all of them. Some of them, some of them understand what I do. Like some of them get it like, no, this girl is just like funny. She's just trying to like, she like you know I just like the response maybe that's like an attention problem I have I don't know but like I don't care it doesn't affect me like what like <laughs> I'm not getting bothered by random people on the internet why would I want to change that like I don't know I think they're the ones with the problem like maybe I'm the one with the problems but I don't know life just going just going good over here for me though I would not want to switch places like if that's what mentally stable is like you know not like not trying to get like attention i guess and just you know arguing with a stranger on facebook all day that you don't even know that doesn't give a fuck about you or your opinion then <laughs> then i'd rather be mentally unstable to the max max me the fuck out because that is hilarious but yeah i just log in i post something so controversial like whatever the hell it is log out People start arguing with each other on that app. It's crazy. That's, I love, I love social media. I just really, I thrive. I thrive. Anyway, you guys, oops. I don't know. Like, maybe, I mean, I don't want to jinx it because maybe eventually I'll have to take a social media break. But I have never had to take a social media break because it's just, like, it doesn't bother me. It's not that deep. Like, I get some people do have to. Like, I get it. If it is affecting your mental, you know, log out, sis log out for me i even tell people like look if i'm affecting your mental health just log out like bitch <laughs> just log out just block me but they don't want to block me like well then if you're not gonna block me sorry this is my page like you see the name at the top that's who's posting here if you don't like what i'm saying like bye like i don't know what to tell you you want me to adjust how I'm gonna run my page for your liking like some stranger that I don't know that I don't give a fuck to how I think of it y'all is these are strangers on the internet like you know those people that are arguing with you like you don't know them you know that people that person that doesn't like your post or doesn't like what you said and this and that like you don't know them like are you hanging out with them every day are you like are they affecting your life any other like anything other than that post like you know what I mean like it's not your everyday it's not something it's not like my family it's not it's, I, I never see them in my life so why like why would it make a difference if this person that I never see anyway likes me or not that's why I don't care if people like me or not it's like I my life is gonna be exactly the same if somebody like watch sees my post oh my god I don't like her like I wouldn't even know 
Like, why would that affect me? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not trying to get a bunch of strangers on the internet to like me because I don't need it. I don't want it. <laughs> like, it's not for me. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to make people like me, you know? I feel like it's almost better to make people hate you because the hate is just like, I don't know, y'all. I'm just crazy like that. I'm just like, you know, the people that really hate you, it's like, they're obsessed. It's, like, crazy. Like, I just... Man, I just, maybe it's... To maybe I have a toxic relationship like that with my, my haters and my... their fans. Let's be honest. They're fans. Because I do come every day. Same people. Praying on my downfall. Like, just anything. Anything. Just give me something, Jada. Just please. Like, just something. It's like... Girl, you're going to be waiting. You're going to be waiting because, like, no matter what happens, like, I'm just in a good place. I can come out of, like, every anything. Well, I mean, I haven't been through anything, like, everything, so I don't want to, like, speak on what I don't know. But for now, like, I don't know. I just know it's going to be good. And if I die, I'll still be laughing from my grave. Like, you will never win. Like, I still had a better life than you hoes. Just know that. Even in death, I'm beating you, bitch. All right. That's it. I'm going to leave it on that now. All right, y'all. Thanks for my to talk. Okay, bye.